Hello, this is Gabe Aaron, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Acceleration to Rotation and Position app. It takes data from an iOS device in the accelerometer form and gives you the parameters of both rotation as well as change in position. All right, so for the purposes of this demonstration, because the data can be kind of confusing, I'm going to begin by start I'm going to start with the rotation of just the x y and then I'll demonstrate the rotation of y z and then I'll move on to position so let's get started let's run the program and pay attention to the console on the left hand side of the screen so for y z if you'll notice if you rotate it to the right it says that the y z change is right if you turn it to the left, it says that the YZ rotation difference is left. Right, left. Right, left. And the reason it said left there was just because of noise that I haven't dealt with yet, but it basically works. Okay, so let's move on now to the YZ rotation. Okay, so now we're going to do the YZ rotation. Run this again. All right, so if you'll notice, if I rotate the device away from me, it says that the YZ rotation is away. If you move it towards, it says that it's towards. And etc., etc., indefinitely, 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 indefinitely. And it's fairly consistent. Once again, it might make a few mistakes because of noise, and, you know, that's something that I intend to fully compensate for in the final incarnation of this. All right, so I'm not going to do X, Z right now because the implementation is basically the same. I just want to demonstrate that it basically works. All right, stand by for position. All right, welcome back. Um, now we're going to demonstrate the acceleration to position part of the app. So let's run this. We're testing for x uh, position right now. We'll do y and z position in the next segments of this video. All right, so if I move it to the right, it says right. If I move it to the left, it surely enough says left. Move it to the right again, move it to the right again, move it to the left, move it to the left, and voila. All right, now for the Y. See ya. And we're back. All right, so now we're going to test the Y movement. Build succeeded, that's always a good sign. All right, so if I move it towards me, it says Y position towards. If I move it away, surely enough it says Y position away. And I'd like to eventually um, actually get the magnitude for the rotating cube that I'm working on in another app, but um, it's about as close as I've gotten right now. Although I think doing the actual magnitude would be pretty easy. All right, so now we're going to test the Z movement which is hard because my hands are really shaky. So let's just try to dramatically move it up. There we go, we got an up there. Dramatically move it down, it stays down because now it's on the table. Up again. There we go. Down. Oh, why is it staying it up? That's annoying. Mm. Part of it is that I don't have any gravity compensation for this. All right, so you get the idea. All right, thank you very much. And happy coding.